Hey guys, Matt of Karsik from of Karsik Films here, and today I'm going to be talking about technology, specifically smartphones. Now first a quick history lesson. We have made humongous strides when it comes to sending and receiving information. For example, back in the early 1900s, we still used post, aka mail, or Morse code to send and receive information. For example, if a loved one unfortunately was dying and you need to tell somebody else, you either had to write them a letter, which took forever to get them, or use somebody to Morse code it to that person. And by the time the person got the message, the person who was dying is probably already dead. But because of the advances in technology, we have gone beyond that, far beyond that. We've gone to the big gray brick phones that nobody really remembers if you're under the age of like 23. We have like the little phones that just had the little buttons and hi, yeah, maybe the antenna that was, you would always chew on for some reason. And then we got bigger and better. We started having flip phones that could do a little bit but not much. And after flip phones, oh my god, forget it. We got iPhones, we got smartphones basically. And they're really joyous to have. You can do just about anything with an, a smartphone. You can look at your Facebook. You can download apps like games or maybe exercise apps. You can text somebody, which is pretty much the same thing as Morse code, only a wee bit faster. But with great power comes great problems. Let me explain. Now, while these huge advances in technology are absolutely great, the quality of the technology might not be so great after all because we're in such high supply and demand for these phones, for these gadgets. I mean, we have technology to make cars that have, you know, phones built into them. We have new cars that have Wi-Fi built into them. We have the technology to take something like a smartphone and put it on your wrist. But why do we still get bugs? Why do we still have problems? For example, I'm having a problem with my phone right now. The cord that charges it is starting to crap the bed on me. Okay? Why is this a problem? Why can't we have charger cords that last as long as the phone? Come on. Come on. Maybe it's loose. Wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Maybe if I wrap it around. Uh, wrap it around. Come on. Maybe if I wrap it this way, this way. Come on, this way. Yeah! So once you're all MacGyvered out, you don't know what else to do, you have reached the limit of your knowledge of how this technology works. Then, what do you have to do? You have to call technical support. Now usually, technical support wouldn't be so bad. Usually the person on the other end of the phone is friendly, helpful, and informational. But I have never, not once, had somebody that I could understand. It's always somebody from like a third world country like India. Like... Hello, thank you for calling technical support. My name is Rajesh. How can I help you with that? What the f did you just say? Now, I'm not trying to be racist at all. That's not the message I'm conveying to you. I've called technical support, and the person who picks up is American, but they have such a thick accent that I still can't hear them. Kind of like this. Hey, how y'all doing today? My name is Lorraine. Thank you for calling technical support. What can I help you with today? Where the f are you from? I'm from Missoula, Montana. Can you dial it down a bit? So then you finally get the technical support helper that you can understand clearly, enunciates clearly, and is friendly, helpful, and informational. But here's the thing. Whenever you tell them what your problem is, you give them every specific thing you can. Oh, my charger cord's not working. I think it's because I've been bending it a lot. I use it while I sleep. I'm also getting a screen, a white screen whenever I open an app and blah, blah, blah. Whatever your issue may be. And they always hit you with the same line every time. Well, let me ask you this, sir. Have you tried turning your phone off and then restarting it? That was the first thing I did. I mean, really? You, you gotta be kidding me! Why is it so difficult to own a smartphone? They're supposed to be smart. 
What if the smartphone could tell you what the problem is? Maybe give you a link or a phone number to a person who is specifically trained to deal with this type of problem. It would go a lot quicker, smoother, with less headaches. And hopefully you wouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg to get the replacement. Because we are stupid. We can't fix a phone by ourselves. Trust me, I've tried. I have opened up a phone. I've seen what's inside a smartphone. It's not pretty. For a guy like me, it's not pretty. That's why they have people who train to deal with this type of stuff. But they got to make it difficult. Not to mention, you got to hit every number on your freaking keyboard to get to the person. Now, let's talk about the struggle of actually talking to a real life person. Automated machines, get out. We don't want you. You're not helpful. We want to talk to somebody real. I know there are some people out there who's like, I don't like talking to real people. Well, if you have a problem that's not on the numbers selected, then you have to talk to a real person. But it takes forever to get there. It's kind of like this. For English, press 1. Okay. For a Verizon account, press 2. Okay. For a Verizon mobile number, press 3. Okay. For technical support, press 4. Right. For troubleshooting, press 5. Yes. To talk to a representative, press 6. Oh, come on. To talk in the U.S., press 7. Damn it! If you're getting somewhat annoyed, press 8. I've already typed in a freaking phone number here. Just give it to a real nine. person. Oh. If you want to stay on the line, press 0. All of our lines are busy. Come on. Damn it! I'm going to do it online. We have the technology to make smartphones. We have the technology to turn a smartphone into a watch. We have the power to put smartphone technology into a car. We have the power to put built-in Wi-Fi into a car. Why don't we have the power to make charger cords, accessories, and technical support a hell of a lot easier? But, in all reality, I, I, I'm not separated from my phone. I, I can't. I, I would die if I didn't have my phone. I actually have a few Snapchats that I probably shouldn't be checking right now. No, I'm not going to check them right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this new episode of Rage Quit. And before I go, I have something I want to say. Let me step to this side so I can do a picture in picture. Boom! There it is. So I've been given a very great opportunity to go to California to pursue my acting career. And I'm still going to be doing stuff on YouTube, you now, Vine, you name it. I'm not going to forget about you guys, but I would like to follow my dreams. My only problem is I don't have the money to get there. So with your help, I could realize my dreams. If you go to this link right here, this is my GoFundMe or just type in gofundme.com slash funmatthew. Any donation, big or small, helps. Even the smallest donation can help in a very big way. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it because that means I get to do more of what I love doing and have easier access to it. So, and even if you guys can't donate, just spread the word. That's a big help in itself. So just click here or go to gofundme.com slash funmatthew. And I greatly, greatly appreciate all you guys' support and your help and just all the love you guys have been sending me. Okay, go away. Thank you. Back in the middle of the frame. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Matt of Karsik from Of Karsik Films, and I will see you next week with a brand new Rage Quit video. All right? And cut. And today, <coughs> a few years, and then we got a little bit smaller to like just like the numbers, and then we got a flip phone. Well, back in the early 1900s, we still used post or most. Now, first, a quick history lesson. If I can remember history, while these huge advantages and advantage. Nope. You do everything you know how to do. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Absolutely great 
it still comes with a lot of... Oh, <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew talking about my phone, I knew it was going to happen. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie, for ruining the shot. <laughs> now, while these huge advances in technology... Oh, God, I can't. Why can't I say advances? God, help me. Understand, I've never once not... <sighs> Will help you fix your problem in a jiffy, but you always that's it. I'm rage quitting because I can't talk. Usually, it's pe the people of the talking, talking, talking. I've had people on technical support. I've called technical support, and I've got people. Now I'm trying not to be. So let me explain to you the problems with doing a rage quit video. A, my throat hurts from yelling so much. B, I broke, <laughs> I broke my house phone when I threw it. Uh, and C, this thing, this sound, when I have to do takes after takes because I can't talk, uh, gets annoying. Uh, 